Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So final few hours of the exam, uh, you are having exam in next few hours and I know you all must be feeling anxious, you all must be feeling nervous, must be excited, so many mixed feelings will be there and uh, believe me, this is something very natural, it happens with everyone. Anyone who is preparing for this exam with his full dedication or who has actually been serious for the preparation, he must be going through all these things, right? So if you are also one of them, be happy that yes, you were, uh, you know, you were serious for your preparation and that's why you are getting all these feelings to feel. And if you are not nervous, if you are feeling totally okay, it's really good. Just like kudos to you and just take that thing and just give your exam with the best possible way, right? Now, the thing is, I am making this video uh, just to talk about few things before the exam, just few final tips regarding the exam. This is going to be just some general points I'm going to talk about, not related to the subject itself, but something related to the exam, or like around the exam, like few things which people do mistake or some, some, some small, small things which you can correct out so that you can give the exam in the best possible way. So that is going to be all about in this particular video. So I will start it from this, that first thing which you have to take care is that your admit card should be with you, okay? So basically you should be taken, uh, like you should have your admit card in a printed form, uh, like make sure that the print should be proper. It is not necessary to be in the color format, although it is recommended that it should be in current color format, but it's not mandatory. So even if you have a black and white print of your admit card, it's totally fine. Just make sure that your image, your photograph and your signature are properly over there in the admit card okay then the second thing is keep your id uh, whatever id you have filled while filling the form make sure that you are carrying the same id in the exam and that you have to reproduce or that you have to show while your uh, while they are going to you know uh, like they are going to check out for your id and all during exam like when you sit for the exam during the verification process they are going to check that id so make sure that you keep that id with you so this is something which you have to keep so that you don't get panic at the last time. So make sure you, you just tick mark all these points, okay? The second thing is that this is just a recommendation because you are giving chemistry exam and uh, there will be scientific calculator provided in the exam itself. So you should be prepared with that, okay? So just make sure that you are a little bit used to how to use the scientific calculator. In case if you don't know that, I will give you link of uh, a video which I have made earlier regarding scientific calculator of gate regarding the gate calculator. So please watch that video and see how to use that calculator to do calculations, to calculate logarithmic, to calculate anti-logarithmic. All these things can be done through that calculator. So make sure that you, you know all those things, okay? So this is second prerequisite which you should be, which you should do on the safer side. Third thing is that uh, when, they, when you will read out the admit card, like there are certain instructions on, that, on the admit card. Although most of the uh, instructions which are provided are just general instructions, but some points which I will just tell you that I already told you about the admit card, printout and the ID. Along with that, keep a uh, paper, uh, sorry, keep a pen with you, okay? Rough sheet will be provided to you in, a, in the exam itself. So don't worry, don't take any rough sheet with you. So you, uh, while going in the exam center, you should be having a uh, admit card, your admit card, an ID, your ID which you have filled in the form. And the third thing is a paper. A pen a pen should be there not paper pen should be there okay and then uh, you should also uh, not carry any any uh, watch or something because in the CBT board exam that means computer based test exam timer will be there on the screen itself so you don't have to carry your watch or any mobile gadget and all although if you are carrying your mobile uh, there will be prop uh, like there will be provision to keep your mobile phone on the center itself but yeah, don't, don't keep or don't bring your watches with you. That is not going to be accepted in the exam center. Fine. So these are certain prerequisite for the exam. Now certain points to be taken care of before exam. Okay. First thing is that exam is in the afternoon session. I'm talking about chemistry people. So the exam is in the afternoon session. So there is no, you know, there is nothing about the sleep and all. Uh, you can take proper sleep in the night, but uh, make sure that you sleep properly a day before. Don't uh, make it like ki the whole night I'm going to study or I'm going to study till 4 in the uh, morning that should not happen take at least 6 to 7 hours of sleep before the exam uh, at least 6 hours sleep is recommended because then only you will be properly active your mind will be active during the exam time and then in that case only you will be able to perform well in the exam okay now the time actually is not to uh, like not to improvise something but to implement what you have studied okay it, it's that the time right 
so right now in the exam center whatever you are going to do is going to be whatever you have studied whether you have retained in that mind and whether you are able to implement that in the exam or not so those three hours are going to decide uh, like whether you have performed whether you have prepared properly or not so that's why you have to be at the best of your uh, health and at the best of your mental health and physical health both during the exam so mental health as i said if you will take proper sleep you will be having an active mind over there second thing is just don't eat something junk before the exam it's just a recommendation from my side because when you eat junk you feel sleepy and just take the staple food the normal food which you take daily which you are used to it okay and uh, if you are used to eating uh, you know chapati take chapati if you are used to eating uh, rice take rice whatever you feel like whatever you eat daily just take that food that is going to be something which is not going to affect your body's metabolism and it's not going to affect that during that particular three hours and uh, like take proper care of your health because you just have one day and the and the the only problem which can come in a drastic manner is food poisoning okay because i have been through it in past some exam and uh, like getting through a food poisoning just before the exam is the worst thing that you can have so it's just a recommendation that have proper food so avoid getting any type of food poisoning and uh, that you can do just by eating normal food at your home if you are living at your home if you are li living in hostel and all try to take normal food okay don't try something um, something junk right okay so now keeping your physical and mental health these two are things these two things are very important for the exam now the last and the most important thing is your mindset should be very positive see exam this gate exam or any exam it's like it's like 70 80 percent of your hard work and the rest 20 30 percent is with the mindset itself if while going in the exam your mindset is like a, a mindset of a hard worker uh, like a mindset of a person who is achiever mindset of a person ki i will be able to do it if you have that particular mindset believe me even if some question is uh, if there is a question which you don't know you will be able to do that somehow because you have that mindset in you and if, if you are going in the exam if even if you have studied a lot and you, if you, there are a lot of self doubt in your mind if your mindset is negative if you are thinking in a negative way during the exam itself there will be question which are very easy but then you will be doing some uh, silly mistakes in the exam so avoid doing that and all these things can be done by by making your mindset proper so just make yourself believe that this is not a big deal this exam is not a big deal it you can simply qualify it you will be able to qualify it it's not a big deal to qualify this exam okay that's what you have to keep reminding yourself and the last and the most important thing now that is regarding the questions which you are going to get in the exam so you all know that there are three types of questions which you are going to get one is uh, multiple choice questions mcqs then multiple selective type questions that is msq and then numerical answer type question that is nats now um, if you already know about it uh, msqs carry negative marking whereas msq that is multiple selective question in which more than one answers are correct among the four options and numerical answer type question in which you have to input the answers uh, it, to the keyboard provided over there so these two types of questions does not carry any negative marking so in the exam you have to avoid negative marking that's the main criteria at the end of the day you have to avoid negative marking you have to avoid getting negative marks and how you are going to do you are going to do that by being super super selective in M mcq type questions where negative marking is there okay so while doing multiple choice questions be super selective over there don't do guess over there okay only do those questions in which you are comfortable in which you are thinking in which you are you are conf confident enough that this is going to be the correct answer okay do those questions from the M mcqs and if you are not confident enough you are you want to take guess don't do that in mcqs because if while taking guess you do it in the negative you you get a negative marks that is just going to take some marks from you and in, remember in gate even one marks is uh, is going to change the rank a lot okay so where you can take guess and take risk so that you can take in uh, msq type question and nat type question do all the questions of msq do all the questions of nats okay don't leave any question because they are not going to carry any negative marking even if you do wrong you are going to get zero in that question you will not get negative marks in that so it is highly recommended that don't leave 
एम एस क्यू और एन ए टी क्वेश्चन डू ऑल ऑफ दैम ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक अ गैस इन अ क्वेश्चन मेक अ गैस ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट एनी थिंग इन द ऑप्शन राइट एनी वैल्यू ओके एनी एनी प्रॉपर गैस वैल्यू वॉट एवर गैस यू कैन डू ओके समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स दैट वॉट एवर प्रोबेबल गैस वी डू वी गेट द आंसर एंड एंड द आंसर लाइज इन द रेंज प्रोवाइडेड बिकॉज इन द एन ए टी इज देर इज नो एक्जैक्ट आंसर देर इज अ रेंज प्रोवाइडेड इफ योर आंसर लाइज इन दैट रेंज यू विल बी गेटिंग द मार्क्स ओके एंड इवन इफ यू गेट वन मार्क्स इन दैट क्वेश्चन दैट्स प्लस पॉइंट राइट सो ऑलवेज वॉट एवर गैस यू हैव टू मेक मेक इट इन मेक इट इन एम एस क्यू मेक इट इन एन ए टीज एंड यू हैव टू डू ऑल द एन ए टीज एंड ऑल द एम एस क्यूज डोंट लीव एनी वन ऑफ एंड बी सुपर सेलेक्टिव इन द केस ऑफ एम सी क्यू सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन गो विद दैट दिस इज हाउ यू कैन गिव द एग्जाम एंड यू कैन गेट द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ इट आई जस्ट थॉट टू मेक दिस वीडियो जस्ट टू डिस्कस सम जनरल थिंग्स अबाउट इट एंड अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर एम एस क्यू एंड एन ए टी थिंग बिकॉज दैट इज समथिंग विच मेनी पीपल वर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट ऑल्सो देर इज अ टेक्निक विच आई हैव डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर आई हैव टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ यू कैन गिव द एग्जाम इन अ थ्री साइकिल मैनर और अ थ्री राउंड मैथड इन विच विच विल मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट मिसिंग आउट द क्वेश्चन or which is which is going to make sure that you are not going to get uh, like you are you are able to do the complete question paper you are not uh, you know you are not doing much mistakes in that and you will be you will be having a good confidence over there so i have made a video on that i'll give you link of that in the i button watch that video in case if you want to watch that so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching see you guys after the gate exam i uh, will discuss about the questions we'll discuss about how the exam went and all so let's meet after the exam and all the best all the very best for your exam give your best give your exam with a proper mindset and you are a achiever you will be able to do that okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care